Hi everybody, it's Dara, and I'm making this video for a couple of reasons. One, before I forget, because I'm not very linear, I want to invite you, any of you, that would like to participate in a nine-day celebration on taking a break. How do we treat ourselves nicely? How do we stop and take a moment to smell the roses, lie on the ground, sip a tonic? What are the things we can do to stop our slow moving vehicles? Because we are moving fast through this life and sometimes it's good to have a reminder to stop and notice different things. So on More with Dara, which is the membership site, um, we get to share and exchange ideas, exchange pictures, exchange a lot of different things, and it's a community. So for those of us who don't have, you know, somebody next door that we can relate to on things, maybe raw food, maybe decluttering, maybe living a better life, those who understand that what we put into our mouths, how we, what we put and think in our minds, what it surrounds us in our environment, all make a difference in living the best and happiest life. So yeah, what we eat, what we think, and what we surround ourselves with, with makes a difference, and everyone on More With Dara gets that. So I continue to make videos here, but I also make different videos there, um, just different. Um, it's hard to explain, but every, um, it's not, it's not a set thing yet, but we're making a schedule. I do these nine day celebrations where I do a giveaway. And the giveaway is my Energy Tonic, which is my new blend that is selling out. It's selling like crazy and everyone's telling me that they love it. It gives them a lift, but not the jitters. It's to help you get off of coffee. It tastes like coffee, it has chocolate in it, and it's just a lift. So if, you want, if you're interested in it, you can check it out on my website. It's on the main page. But this is my Mendocino mug. I call it my Mendocino mug because there's a coffee shop in Mendocino where this artist sells these ceramic mugs and they come, he makes them so that the lid fits on them so that I can take them in the car on the go. And I love it. And people loved it so much that I went up there and bought a number of them so I could do giveaways. So this is the giveaway. And the only thing people have to do is just to be eligible is just to, I'm stinging myself with the stinging nettles. <laughs> really sitting here, I'm like, why am I? Okay, we're talking about the stinging nettles next. Really important topic. What's going on over here in the counter with the greens. But um, I'm more with Dara. That's on my website too. I'll put the link below. Uh, so to be eligible, all we have to do is post a picture in, of some way in which we are relaxing, taking a break, or write about how we're taking a break. And I promise you the community over there is amazing. So you can try it and see. And so what I'm doing, the next, so that's the next thing. I wanted to give everybody the heads up. Oh, when is it? It's starting Monday. So today's Saturday. It's starting Monday, April 6th and it'll be going on for nine days. And if you don't join in for that, shortly after that, I'm going to be doing a spring cleaning um, giveaway where I'll be giving away jewelry. So you're not gonna, you'll miss out on something, but you, I'm just gonna keep doing these things because it's really fun for me. It's a way to get everybody active and having fun and sharing ideas and supporting each other. So now I wanna talk about nettle. It's the season for nettle. Nettle in this country is considered a weed, but it's not a weed, it's a medicinal plant. And I'm holding it like this because it does sting you. It is called stinging nettles. But if you have arthritis, it's a good idea to put this wherever the joints hurt and it will just bring the blood to the surface and give you relief. It helps with arthritis if you ingest it and you kind of whack yourself with it. I've, I've felt it before, it's just like a little red itching. Um, it's not comfortable, but it goes away in an hour. So what I do is I put gloves on. Now the thing about nettle is that it grows wild. You can find it outside and it does so many things, okay? So it stimulates the lymph system and that helps our immune system. It helps digestion. So if you're having bloating, you know, if you have some gas, it, you know, it helps with that. It helps with all kinds of digestion. It helps with menstrual cramps. It helps with menopause symptoms. It helps prevent prostate cancer. It helps 
anti-inflammation inside our bodies. So if somebody's been eating a lot of gluten and it's inflaming their system, this is going to help or with arthritis. It helps asthma sufferers. I mean, it's just like the wonder plant. And so we wanna figure out ways to use it. And since I eat most of my food raw, we made the other day, um, Flora Bella Farms, we got to meet Dawn in the farmer's market video I made the other day. And she said pesto. And I made a pesto and I've been having it on crackers. I mixed it into a zucchini pasta. You can have it as just a little spread. You can mix it, um, one day I had a bunch of it, so I mixed it in a salad as my salad dressing with some lemon juice and it was delicious. So today I'm going to take the rest of the nettle and I'm gonna cut off the tough stalks, which I mostly, there's not too many here, and I'm just gonna chop it up and I'm going to put it in a big pot, a surgical stainless steel pot. A lot of people ask me which one I use. It's a, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, it's Demayer, I have it on my website. So for any of you who wanna know what tools I favor, what cutting board is my favorite, what towels, what knives, you can go to my website and see. You can also purchase it there through Amazon. Um, so that makes it really convenient. And I'm very, very picky what I use. Um, so, particular is a better word. So now I've got these nettles and I will get my gloves. I will chop them up and a lot of times people blend them. So you can blend this into a smoothie. You can blend them into a soup and it breaks down the itchiness. You can um, if you boil them or you, you simmer them, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to simmer these and that's one way to have them. The pesto is another way. A lot of times you'll see soup uh, with potatoes. Since I'm not having potato, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to put these in a broth and my broth will be water, maybe some chickpea miso. I'll show you. We have the chickpea miso, miso master organic, okay? And I'll put a dollop of this, mix it in the water, a little bit of salt, and I will have the nettles in there. It will be a beautiful nettle soup. So that is as simple as it is. Some of you can blend it and then warm it up if you like that. You can throw in mushrooms into the pot. You can do all sorts of things. But it's such a beneficial Thing to have in our system. If you do not have um, fresh nettle like I do here, if it's not in season, you can go to Mountain Rose Herbs and you can order the nettle leaf that's already been dried and you can make a soup out of that. You can make teas and broths and all of that. So it's really super beneficial. It also destroys parasites and worms, which is another thing I want to talk about, which is not the most pleasant thing, but since I'm not chopping food and it's really important anyway, because a lot of people say, oh, you know, I'm eating healthy, I'm eating healthy. Now they're eating healthy, but what about all the things we did to our colons? You know, if we have an extended belly, uh, chances are we have, um, I hate to say it, but I'm gonna say it because it's the truth, impacted feces. There's places in our colons are curvy where white bread, peanut butter, fried things, whatever, um, it kind of lines the colon. And then there's places where if we eat meat, you know, meat takes 48 hours to get through, minimum, to get through a healthy colon, right? So if there's places where it can get stuck, then it stays there and it putrefies. And that is where the parasites, or one of the places that parasites and worms can live. So we can use black walnut extract, we can eat nettle, we can eat pumpkin seed, pumpkin seed milk, pumpkin seed oil. There's certain things that will help you to get rid of those things to do a colon cleanse. And that's the beautiful thing about the raw food diet or eating a plant-based diet is that it is a naturally detoxifying diet provided you're eating enough fiber and the foods that will help, the black walnut help, help, will help pull out you know, those things that they can come in, you know, on, um, on a piece of sushi easily, right? So if you're eating sushi and thinking that's healthier than meat, well, that could be so. If you're living in Japan and you're having uh, wasabi with your sushi, you're drinking green tea and your colon isn't clogged, right? So we can, we can revisit the things that we can eat provided we have a healthy digestive fire and a healthy colon. But if it's not, because we've been eating the things that we thought were okay all of this time, because we were led to believe, of course, they're in the market, they're on the shelf, 
must be okay. If it's available for me to purchase, it must be okay for me to eat. Well, guess what? We all know that that's not the truth anymore. So once we hear the truth and we hear raw food, then what do we do? What we do is we buy romaine, organic romaine. We wash it, we chop it, we drizzle olive oil and lemon juice and a little bit of a sweetener and we throw pumpkin seeds on it and we start investigating what it means to eat a plant-based diet. And we don't have to do everything all at once, but we can start and have a smoothie in the morning. We can have a salad for lunch and we can tell ourselves we can eat whatever we want for dinner. And little by little, that smoothie and salad during the day is kind of going to alter the choices that we make in the evening. So it does not have to be all at once. Well, it doesn't have to be anything. It's everybody's choice. Right? It's our choice whether we want to live our optimal life, our optimal health, our optimal weight, our optimal happiness, our optimal spirituality, happy synchronicities, our ultimate in relationships with other people. How can we possibly be kind to another human being if we're constipated and clogged in our insides? If our core is stuffed and clogged and full of you know what, how are we going to be kind? We don't feel well, you know? so. Sometimes I think when somebody's cranky or they're not nice and I'm like, maybe they're constipated, you know, <laughs> I do. I think that and I think what a better world this would be if everybody had clean moving digestive systems. So I am here to help with that. All of the things that I've been introducing over the past four years have had to do, although they look really pretty and they look really happy and they're gorgeous and they taste delicious, they are all about detoxifying the body, decluttering our insides from unwanted visitors, from things that have gotten stuck and lodged, be they food or emotions that are getting lodged, it all goes together. So this is really exciting. We get to find, you know, nettle, you can't get the fresh, get the dry. We get to just add that into our diets. And that's one of my things, like why do I want to eat all this healthy stuff? Why do I, the strawberries that I have, right? The almonds that I have, they're alkalizing, the most alkalizing nut, but they have protein. And why do I want to have the strawberries for vitamin D? Because my body needs the nutrients badly, right? So these strawberries are a really great start. The nettle, I mean, there's so many, I figure there's just so much time in the day, right? So I have from morning till night to get in as much nutrient dense food as possible. I couldn't possibly eat all the things that I know that are good for me. Chia seeds and nutritional yeast has vitamin B12 and getting the sunshine from vitamin D, taking that little supplement, having reishi, which lifts my spirit, chaga, that mushroom that boosts my immune, um, having pumpkin seeds that help with protein and getting rid of parasites, to having kale, which has the chlorophyll protein or amino acids and leafy greens. You are going to get enough protein if you have your leafy greens. If you're at all worried about protein, you can have spirulina, chlorella, um, so there's so much for us to play with regarding food. There really isn't enough time in the day to put in a filler, like a white bread or, or a, to me, rice or something that's going to fill me up and not give me nutrients. I don't really have the space for that. It's precious real estate in here, right? It's precious real estate. What, and, and we have enough like environmental stressors and things that we take in that we can't really help. So we've got to just fortify ourselves to combat those things. And guess what? When we eat this way, we're not affected nearly as much, not even nearly by all the chemtrails people talk about and the things that are happening. We are resonating at a different level and oxygen is drawn to us and good energy is drawn to us and like-minded people are drawn to us. And so I am standing on my soapbox. <laughs> I have this, I have this, you know, our family's YouTube channel, knowing that you guys are with me on this and knowing that the excitement in which I feel from the nettles is getting to you. And so you may not have nettles in the house, but guess what? You might order nettles and have, start having nettle tea. You might start having, you know, Pau de Arco tea to prevent cancer. You might decide every day, which I've been doing lately, is um, I've been having oat straw tea. You could make, I could put oat straw as the base of this, dried oat straw, heat it in the water for 20 minutes, strain it, and then put my nettles in. Now I'm getting like a super wow soup, and that's what I'm going to do. Oat straw has silica. Silica is needed for our nails, our teeth, our bones. 
So if we're having any teeth issues, bone issues, that's really good. Horsetail is another thing I like to brew for a tea. That could be um, a base. There's so much fun and there's so much creativity and there's so many nutrients that we now have access to. We are so lucky with the internet to be able to order these things. I'm looking over there because I have my whole shelf lined up. Cat's Claw, Powder Arco, tea, uh, oat straw, I've got my vi uh, vitamin B12, I've got my nutritional yeast that tastes like cheese. I've got coconut, chia seeds, um, there's all kinds of things over there and that's all good for me. And over there is my tonic bar, that's all good for me. In my refrigerator, everything over there is good for me. I'm staring at some kale. It's like the produce talks to me. It's like, you know what, Dara, you got kale on sale. Why don't you make some kale chips? So it might take me just a moment to follow my recipe that's on YouTube, blend some cashews and macadamia nuts or hemp seeds and put in nutritional yeast and salt and garlic, make a batter, put the kale in it, stick it in the dehydrator, and have an amazing snack. Um, look at what's behind me. Can you see? Look at that. This is my snack after dinner. Slice these apples and oranges. It's just, it's a party. This is a gorgeous Pinkerton avocado. Creamy, this is a raw food is butter. We're not mixing, missing textures, we're not missing flavors. If we just identify the things that we like to eat, and then I keep rubbing against the metal, I must need it. Uh, if we have to identify the, that's how I went wrong in the beginning, is that I knew I needed hummus, like I needed something creamy, and I needed uh, like a dip, and I needed an avocado, guacamole, and I we learned how to make flax crackers, so I had the crunchy and the dip, and that really satisfied me, and I just kept learning how to make the things that would satisfy the old cravings. And then the old cravings go away, the real old ones go away, the ones that really kind of when I think about what I used to eat, my stomach kind of goes, ugh. So you just, it's not about depriving, it's about adding these things and then seeing what choices our body really demands the very best once we're clean. So I feel really, I really feel for people who are clogged, but it takes two weeks, two weeks to clear out, really. I mean, you can detoxify your body and get rid of junk and feel like a new person. You can feel like a new, kind, and calm person. And when we do that, we're making room for new relationships. We're literally making room for new nutrients in our colon, right? Like, if we unclog the lining of the colon, then the little cilia is going to be able to grab and absorb into our bloodstream the all the nutrients from the herbs, from the expensive supplements, for whatever fun things we want to add. But the very first thing is to detoxify, to get the fiber, to pull, to brush the sides, you know, to kind of brush, brush, brush. That's why when a lot of people eat raw food at first, like, oh, I feel bloated, raw food doesn't work for me, and it's like, no, 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 you don't get to do that because it's the stuff clogged, lined on the inside of the colon that's starting to, like, come out, right? It's, it's scratching off the layers of stuff impacted so that your colon's clogged, and it's just, it will bloat you, it will feel bloating, but it will go away, and you can have things like nettle tea to help with the bloating, and there's lots of other things. So um, it might be a little bit uncomfortable at times, but is it better to leave the toxins and the junk in? I think not, it's better to get it out. It's better to say, you know what, I'm game. I'm gonna be a warrior. I'm not gonna let this stuff stay in me, and I'm gonna stick it out because I know it's possible. I know Dara did, I know Philip McCluskey who lost hundreds of, you know, lots of weight, Angela Stokes Monarch. Um, there's so many people who've lost so many, many pounds and many, many impacted things in here, and their lives just get, I mean, filled with love. So it makes so much sense, as within, so without. It's a microcosm. Our colons are a microcosm, or just, uh, it's like a view on what's going on in our whole lives, right? It makes so much sense. Mm -hmm. We can be nicer people. We can be really much better parents, calmer, um, 
you know, it doesn't feel good to be clogged. Everybody knows that. The best, sexiest, happiest moments are when you just feel clear and clean and you can move. So I am here to help with that. Um, obviously, I'm more with Dara. I can see what you're up to and make suggestions. I can um, intuit over there because definitely that is a big part of what I do. I'm a highly intuitive creature and I can uh, sometimes sense what's going on in people's lives just by looking at a photo. So join with me if you can over there for if not this celebration, the next. I don't call them challenges because they're not challenges to me, they're fun. Um, doing raw food is fun, it's not a challenge, it's not this thing that's like gonna hurt, it's like exciting. This gorgeous pink lady apple is exciting. This beautiful navel orange that actually tastes like the best orange ever is exciting. So, there you have it. There's my talk from the soapbox. Um, I will see you guys really soon. Perhaps I'll show you a picture of this stew. I have to go wash it. I don't think you need to watch me washing the nettle. Oh, that would be actually amusing if someone were following me with the gloves. I'm going to put it in a big bowl and just rinse it. I'll have the gloves on. I'll swish it around. And then I will drain it on a strainer. And then I will, I don't, probably don't even, I'll probably chop it in threes the length of it in threes, and then put it in the pot and let it stew down. I love you guys. I will see you really soon. And happy Easter tomorrow and happy Passover, whatever you're, you're uh, celebrating. See you soon.